Let's finish this super duper game we've started yesterday. Okay. Actually, this game is about 19, 19% ready. And all we have to do is finish this. So let's continue our journey. is named game C. Button is clicked. Something like this. Save the script. Let's check it out. Да, я русский. Что не работает? -то? Why doesn't it work? Ah. I'm so interesting person. You have to add this script to what? Tune on click function. Now it should work. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? What the hell? Why this tint in game in play mode is so unnoticeable да нормально дела вот пытаюсь научиться стримить Doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? Game C. Of course, not work. Why? God damn right. Yes, it's working. Game is done. Thank you for coming. 
See you next time. Just kidding. Okay. Now, I think I need a character. Since the game is about thumb war, as I remember, then we need a thumb. Hey, where is my music playing? How does thumb look like? Mm -hmm. Interesting. за игру создаешь вот это вот я еще пока сам не знаю что я тут создаю I don't know I don't know what it will be in the end I hope to see it in about a couple of hours since I can't draw then I think I should take one picture which is done already. Or maybe I can redraw this. I'm sure I can. Starting to look like a hand. Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. How many fingers does I have? Do I have five? One, two, three, four. Another one. I need another one finger. Masterpiece. Believe it. I created.
beautiful. Where is the white hat? I lost it, unfortunately. I don't have it anymore. Why not? Okay, next detail. Next detail is a Is this a gun? No, it's uh, mm, something like this, I guess. My drawing skills perfect, are perfect, as you can see. Well, maybe this will be a gun, by the way, because this game is going to be about thumb war because as you remember maybe we're creating a game for I don't know exactly for or not for but for we I took this I took this idea from one Ichio each IO gem which is weekly gem this one and here is gem theme thumb war so we're creating a game about thumb and war but I totally don't know what it will be look like at the end so it's going to be a surprise for you and for me We'll see it pretty soon, I guess. No, 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 no. Let's leave it as it is. Who needs that details, right? But one more detail I want to add here.
beautiful. This is not GIMP, this is Inkscape, yes, right, here is the name of this software. Just let it be. Do you have an idea of the gameplay? I have one, but I'm not sure. I want this game to be pretty simple because it's my first time I stream. And I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I think this character that I'm creating right now will move left and right and shoot some enemies something like that as i said i want it to be pretty simple as simple as as it can be so let's see what we'll we'll have Third dimension driving me a little bit crazy. I can't process it in my mind. That third dimension, I mean. Maybe someday I will get it, but not today.
So what do you think? Does it look like a end? I think it does. Okay. Just a second, I need to make a call. Inkscape. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let it be like it is now. Okay, the character is ready. Now we need a bullet since this character is going to shoot enemies so let's create a bullet mm -hmm. 
does it look like a bullet to you? Not to me. Something like a bullet. Okay, bullet is ready. Now we need an enemy. What enemy should I create? What enemy? A thumb can have. What's a threat for thumb? Mushroom. Let it be mushroom. Mushrooms are very evil creatures. A virus. Good idea. Very good idea. Virus. Let's see how virus does look like. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Whoa. I think this one is is okay. You know, since I want to share this project after it's finished, so you can use use it for any purpose you want for free, so I can't download these images and put them into my project and then share because it will be a violation of this free license so that is why i i need to redraw it so draw my own images and put them into my project so i can share them that's why i can't just download this one so I just take it and redraw.
something like that. We need to create some tentacles. The hell is that? No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Well, I think after year or two, 
I will be able to create something more beautiful. Practice. All I need. Practice is practice rules. That's what I can say. That's what I can say. Okay. We have an enemy. We have a bullet. And we have a character. What else do we need? I think we need... Okay, if we will need something, we will create it. Now, let's put these images to our project. So we need to save them. save them we need to create a folder for our project which is not great yet and save these pictures to that folder export as war this will be a character export this will be a bullet and this will be a enemy yeah. and we just drag and drop these pictures to our project just like this here they are And to keep this organized, I'll, I will create a folder for our art and name it art. And put these files into it. There we go. Okay. Character. Well. Okay, we'll see what it will be at the end, anyway. So, I think this character will be moving. I will control his movement, so... Since it's going to be moving, and interact with enemies when they collide it needs a rigid body what else so character at component physics 2d rigid body there we go and mm, i think i will set gravity scale to zero so it won't be falling down and collision detection set to continuous there it is okay 
and of course our character needs a collider to collide with enemies I think it will be circle one and in it will be set as a trigger edit it a bit Okay, let it be like that. Hey, I just came here to thank you for all of the tutorials you have made. They have been incredibly helpful and I one wouldn't have made it this far with programming without your tutorials. You're welcome, pal. Happy to help. Good luck with your beginnings and so on and so on. Thanks for coming. Thank you for watching. Okay. Unifox, слушай, я тоже сильно не понимаю в английском, но хочу, хочу научиться, хочу его понимать лучше, говорить на нем лучше, поэтому, собственно, и занялся этим. Так что спасибо, что пришли. Enjoy, как говорится. Надеюсь, это все будет кому-то полезно. В первую очередь мне, я думаю. Окей, let's move on. Character needs a script. So let's create one and name it character. And open it in A. Come on. I said open it. There it is. Okay, rigid body. Rigid body. E. Rigid body. So we need a rigid body. What else? Mm, float. Direction X. Direction Y. No, move speed will be in the next line because I want to set move speed. Ah, never mind. Move speed will be here as well. Абсолютно верно про английский. Английский нужен. Еще китайский. Я не шучу. <laughs> так что да, учите английский и китайский. People, study English and study Chinese. Chinese is a future. Not gonna lie. Сергей Краснов. Не, никто никуда не переедет. Мы просто все. Все друг к другу переедут. И будут жить счастливо вместе. Окей. Okay. Next. Uh, next. What's next? Rigid body. Hey. Hey. And move. I think. Let's stand for for start. In update, we 
we get direction X and direction Y. Input yet X is raw. Horizontal, as I suppose. Multiplied by move speed. Yes. And direction Y. Vertical. Yes. And since I use rigid body to move my character, I should add a speed to that rigid body in fixed update. Because physics should be processed in fixed update. So rigid body velocity. Direction X, direction Y. Save the script and let's see. Will it will it move? Take this script to character. Press play and try to move it. <gasps> it works. By the way, guys, I think. No, why not? Hmm. I have a controller here. So it should work. Oh no, batteries are dead. I don't believe it. Batteries are dead. So, anyways, I don't have spare batteries, or I do. I think I do. Wait a second. Never mind, I don't have spare batteries, so what did I want to say that mm, this should work with gamepad as well, but not this time, okay. So I can control this with arrow, arrow buttons or with WASD. Is it your hobby or game development is your main job? It's hobby. Only a hobby. Do you make money from game developing? <laughs> yeah, lots of it. About five dollars maybe per month. Okay. It's moving. That's perfect. Now, now it's time to make it fire fire bullets so we take a bullet and put it here it is behind the character so i need to set order in layer to higher value as you can see character has a zero here 
and if I set order and order for bullet to say one, it appears in front of the character. So, or maybe I shouldn't do that. It doesn't matter anyway. Okay, smaller. There we go. Okay. Bullet needs a rigid body as well because it will be moving. So, rigid body, gravity scale to zero, collision detection to continuous. And also it needs a collider. Box collider will be fine. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So bullet will be moving. Does my bullet need a script? Yes, it needs a script because if it hits nothing, then it should be destroyed, as I suppose. Trigger. As I suppose. So yes, I need a script for the bullet. What are you doing, Visual Studio? So, to destroy a bullet, we just put one line of code into the start method, which is destroy a object in, say, seconds save the script give it bullet I think bullet is kind of ready I'm going to create the mm, spawn bullets once I click fire button so to spawn a bullet What's going on? Chat. Hmm, I see. Okay. So, we will be spawning bullets, so we need a prefab of it. For that, I need a folder for prefabs. And put bullet into this folder mm -hmm. now we have a prefab of a bullet and I can delete this bullet from okay It's fine. Okay. Now, character will be spawning bullets 
right from his index finger. So, I think I need to create the child. Empty parent. Where is empty child? Mind, okay. Let's create empty. It will be finger. Childhood character. Where is it? So bullets will be spawned right about here. And I think I need to rotate this game object around Z. Not not Z. Why? Ah, it's a scale. Negative 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Where are you coming from, guys? Inspector, it will be private game of bullet and uh, private. And now, in update, if in Is it by one or what? By one? I don't remember actually. I bullet. We don't have this method yet, so let's create it.
It's like recycling the bullets instead of destroying them death. You are absolutely right. And I have a video about uh, bullet. <gasps> we have a sponsor. You roll 0 to 2. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay. Buy a bullet. Buy a bullet. If bullet is fired, then we do what? And we create a new variable which is which will be named let's say spend no oh, new bullet new bullet instant sheet mm. bullet finger deep position as I suppose and finger deep rotation Hope this is correct. Is this the last tutorial? This one? It's the first one. So. After that. I need another one variable which is rigid body 2d rigid body rigid body Look. This is correct. I guess so. And then bullet reach buddy the velocity. Is that how I did it before? I think I should check it out. I know one I know one channel where lots of tutorials I think you know what I'm talking about so I don't actually remember how I did that before so I think it's okay if I Take a little pick. Mm -hmm. I think this is what I need. Yes, there it is. 
Fire bullet instantiate bullet barrel position barrel rotation. Fire bullet at force. Ah, rigid body. That makes sense. Then I don't need this. this either so Also, I need fire speed. Float fire speed. There it is. And it will be set to... Да, все стримы будут доступны. Ничего удалять не собираюсь. Force mode to the... Окей. Should work now. As I suppose. One little thing. We need to put bullet prefab right here and finger tip right here and now we should be able to fire bullets oh my god uh, where is my bullet in play mode hey where is the bullet Bullet. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I think I should rotate my bullet. Wait. Where is the bullet? Apply changes. Where is it? Where should I apply those changes? Not applied is this ah I see yes you're right
90 or 1. 90. work or oh, what mm, beautiful you know what we'll destroy this prefab and create a new one Just great. In bullet prefab, do it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure neither. <laughs> okay, anyway, we will rotate it soon, but why my bullet doesn't appear here? Where is it? Where is the bullet? Bullet. you're right maybe it's not up maybe we should rotate it back if we do this it will go up hey mm -hmm. much better Anyway, where is my bullet in game window? Huh? Where is it? Z minus the team. Does that count? Yeah, you're right. Camera. Camera is somewhere not here. Mm -hmm. It appears behind the camera. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Why is that? Because fingertip here, fingertip is behind the camera. Just perfect.
just perfect. There we go. Okay. Do you know why this happened? Because when I created empty game object, these values, these values, I don't know why, are they always so random? So when you create a game object, the best thing you should do on the second place is to reset it. So we will not, so you will not have that kind of issues later on. So this issue is done. But anyway, our bullet is going with wrong rotation. But I think I know how to fix that. I rotate this anyway. Or maybe not. What if this red axis named right as I remember? Let's try it out. And see, will it work? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay, bullet is quite a bit big, so let's make it a bit smaller. But how small will it be? Let's see here. Yeah, 0 0.5 will be fine. Let's check it out again. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we can move and we can fight. But I think I should flip my character if it goes to the left and if it goes to the right. So we need to flip it. How to flip it? I know one channel, and you know which one, where lots of useful videos about anything. So let's check it out. I think we will find kind of useful video right here and it's somewhere about here where is it Look, I don't remember. Ah. Maybe here. Huh? Where is this?
It's not here. But we will find it. Hmm. I have it here. I remembered. Short video, yes. I show you a very simple way to animate your character in a top-down game like Among Us. All we have to do is to find that script. Here it is. Okay. What do we do to here it is? So I need vector three local scale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I need local scale, I need local scale. It's a character script, right? Right. So I need local scale. But private. Okay. But. Vector three. Local scale. Then we set this local scale to current transform local scale so local scale equals transform scale and then if in late update important all flipping all of the flipping should be processed in late update as I know so private ah, what am I doing uh, all I have to do is is to start typing look late update there it is. So if um, rigid body the seat X yes. more than zero. Then trends form local scale will you vector three local scale x scale y and local scale Z. Mm -hmm. Else, if else, if else, if Else if what? Else if rigid body velocity x less than zero. So here our character moves to the right, and here our character moves to the left. So if he moves to the right, then it should be pointed to the right. And if it goes to the left, then it should be pointed to the left. So, in this case, transform local scale equals to view vector 3. Negative local scale x 
and the rest of the code is the same so I can just copy and paste it. There it is. Should work now. Late update means it will update but it's late thing. You're right. It will be updated, but a little bit too late. So maybe it shouldn't be updated at the end. Okay. Make sure I save the script. Yes, I did. So let's hit play and see if it works. I said play. Hmm. Yes, it works pretty fine. So <gasps> a bullet goes. Why? Mm hmm. Why doesn't it flipping? Hmm? Why it isn't flipping? Why finger deep isn't flipping? isn't flipping look at the scale no wait a second it should flip Doesn't it flip? We'll figure it out. I have a feeling. <laughs> How did I do that before? Fire. I think we will find answer here. See? Now I will give him some bullets and he will be able so why the hell? From his gun. Here is my port. They if you fall by It's the same.
Dignity. He's a child of a character, so it should live along with the parent. Am I right? I think I am. So why didn't that little piece of thingy tip doesn't rotate? Lots of scripts here, I see. Why don't you sleep? Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Much better. The only thing to do is to rotate a bullet. And you know what? I think I should rotate it. You know what? We will create another one bullet, which will be rotated like that. And create just to, just to, sorry, just to try it. And try this bullet number two, which is already rotated by 90 degrees. And create another one bullet, prefab which will also have a box collider and a rigid body. And a bullet pre uh, script. And create 
another prefab. Delete this one. And replace this bullet prefab with the second one. Yes, it's Inkscape. And let's try it out. I think it should work. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. But as you can see, if we should write, if we should let, if we shoot to the left, how to post that? And you see this, mm, how do I name this? White line is at the bottom of the bullet, but if we shoot to the to the right, this white line at the top. That's kind of fishy. But this time, I leave it as it is. Because we could fix that by Flipping a bullet in Y axis when it goes to the left. And I really want to do that right now because I want to move on. So let's just leave. Oh, you know what? When this small project will be finished. I will uh, share that and if you guys want you could play with it and fix this issue and then share your solution in the comments what do you think I think it's a great idea so for now we will leave as it is and move on so next step next step is to create an enemy which will be moving towards the player and there nobody okay Somebody spamming my phone. Okay, create an enemy. There it is. We put it in to the hierarchy, into our scene. I think it's a little too big, so let's make it a bit smaller. Like that. That's okay. Oh no. okay okay enemy enemy will be moving and of course it will have circle collider and rigid body circle collider will be a little bit smaller So these tentacles will not hurt our character and only the body of our enemy will destroy our character. So how to make this enemy to move towards the player. Actually, it's pretty simple. And we will do it right now. Okay. 
first of all, I need a script for an enemy. And open it up. Okay. Of course, we need a rigid body. Repail. What the hell is that? And of course, we need. Move speed. That's right. Our character moves with a speed equals to 10. Enemy will be moving a little bit slower. Let's say 5. five. Just five, yeah. Cool. Just five, that's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Move speed equals to five. That's right. And in update, how our enemy will find out where a character is. First of all, when an enemy is spawned, it has to find our character at the first place. So, how to do that? Pretty simple. I know one channel lots of useful stuff and I really mm, I know for sure that we will find the answer right here okay and this little I'll attach that player script to my character. Follow. Mode, set move speed okay. and get local speed. Yes, and the script. Get component region bandy play war. War. Here it is. Player. So we need a Yes, we need a player at the first place. We need a player. So, is it private or public? It's private. Private. Well, it's not a player. It's a character. As we can see here, this. Uh, enemy will be finding our character by the script attached to our character. Script has name as a character, so enemy will be looking for a game object with the script character attached. So, private character. Character. Okay, next step. Back to the direction to player. And we don't need local scale because I'm not going to flip my enemy. So Vector 3, direction to player. Right. Three. Direction to 
player. And after that, we already got a rigid body. And now we have to find the player. Find the game. Find object of type. Type of player as player. Okay. Player. Find. Type of player as player. I of player character, of course. Character as character. There we go, and we have an error. Because, because why? Objects. Object of type. Okay, now, what should we do next? Move enemy. In fixed update, we will be moving our enemy. You know what I do? I put this window on the second screen and just type it. So we need to move our enemy since it's have it has since it has a rigid body. We will be moving it in fixed update method because of the physics. So, fixed update. Fixed update. And here we'll be invoking move enemy method, which is not created yet, but we will Created right away. So, private Tesla. I'm pretty bored of your spam, so stop it. Otherwise, I will stop it. So, uh, private. Void move move enemy move move enemy okay move enemy first to move our enemy to the player we need to find a direction to the player, right? So, direction to player equals... Uh, it's just a vector, uh, which we can find by subtracting um, player position with enemy position so so what do I do here is player transform position minus enemy position which is transform position position and I think it should be normalized like that and when direction is found we move the enemy so rigid body 
velocity equals to u vector two vector two direction to player x and direction to player y direction to player x and direction to player y and of course it should be multiplied by move speed velocity okay <laughs> velocity so we don't we don't have to flip our our enemy so this is kind of it so let's put this script into the enemy and i guess this little green piece of virus now we'll be following our player let's check it out no it's not object reference not sent what what line 27 what huh? in what script Object reference not sent. Ah, I see. Uh huh. Engine body equals get component. Engine body to be. That should work. At what age you start learn programming C sharp? You know, I'm not that good in C sharp. I'm not that good in in anything actually. Well, about three years maybe. Yeah, four. I think it's four. But it's not always I, you know, sit and learn C sharp. It's kind of. one time at a week or a month something like that so okay i think now it should work oh shit oh no it's following it's following us ah! why bullet is so big it's following okay bullet is too big so let's make it a bit smaller so Let's check it out again. It's very beautiful. Stop following me. Stop following me, mother father. Okay, it works. Great. What's next? And next is, you know what? The next thing is that I gotta have some tea be right back
Okay, I'm back. Hope you are still here. Oh, D. Good. Good. What about the music, by the way? Is it still playing? Yes, I guess. Okay. Now it's black tea with a bit of milk. I pay attention. Come on. Are you Russian or Ukrainian? <laughs> Is there any difference? But I'm Russian. Okay, let's move on. Actually, It's almost ready. Okay. Let's see what we have here because maybe I forgot already something. <laughs> okay, I see. Ah, bullets go with the same speed as a character goes. Cool. Let's change that. Okay. This is an enemy. I think enemy is moving way too fast. Let it be three. Save the script. Mm, bullet. Bullet. Uh, it's not here. It's in the character script. Fire speed. Yes. Why is it fire speed? It's not fire speed. It's bullet speed. So let's re name it it's what bullet speed yes bullet speed. Sp mm -hmm. it's not sp it's speed okay mm, D. teach us some russian what do you want to know? <laughs> Are you from Mother Russia? Yes. Come on, Rubix. 
You already know Russian. <laughs> I have nothing more to teach you. You... You are perfect. Your Russian is much better than mine. <laughs> but actually, these words... Mm, not quite... Uh, allow it in the chat, so please don't use them anymore. Okay, bullet speed. Bullet speed, so bullet speed. 500. What? 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 It should go a bit faster. So it will be a thousand. Let's check it out. And maybe our character will also be moving a bit slower. So it's it will be not 10, it will be 7. Save the script and check it out. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Let it be like that at the moment. Yes, it can fly out of the Unity scene. But it's okay for now. Okay. Well, maybe it's not okay. You, you're right, Mike. We should constrain the movement, the movement of our character. Yes. How to do that? Pretty, pretty simple. In update, we. Is it the character script? Yes. We do the next thing. Transform position equals to new vector 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 two and we should clamp it. How do we do that clamp? It is MathF clamp. And what parameters? What parameters does it take? Float value, float mean, float max. This is one. And the second one, int value, mean, int. Ah, I see, I remembered what we should do. Okay, so we should constrain character's movement so it will be able to move only inside the camera view. And to do that, we need to get to know coordinates we want to use to constrain that. So when character reaches this part of the screen, the x value equals to 745. Let it be just 7. Yes, 7 will be okay. No, 7 seven and a half on the left side and seven and half on the right side yes okay this is what is about x axis values and y axis values will be mm, let it be four 
no, three, three fifty, and negative three fifty. So seven and five, and three and five. Okay, so we go here and clamp ran transform. Transform mm, position. Transform position X, and it should be only between negative seven and five, and positive seven and five. Next value we. F. And the next value, transform position Y. We should clamp that. So, map F clamp clamp we like that clamp transform position Y and it should be between negative 3.5 f and 3.5 now as i suppose our character will not be moving will not be moving outside the bounds of our camera view Let's check it out. We will not. Yeah, that works. I can't go further, and I can move only inside the camera view boundaries. Okay. I will orange justice you. You know what? For the first time, I will mm, do this. But for the next time, I'll do something more. Okay. I feel like the sprites are too big, maybe make them smaller. Maybe, why not? But it's not the, the issue. But maybe you're right. Maybe I should. So let's do it. Hmm? Hmm? Like that. But in this case, the character, I think, can go a bit further. Yes, now I can change that value in that clamp piece of code. I have to change it, because now we can move by 4, by y-axis, and... by 8 by x axis let's change it uh, negative 8 8 negative 4 4 save the script yeah you're right I will change bullet prefab I will change the bullet refurb. I can't know. Ah, let's see. Yeah. Pew, 
pew 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 nothing happens my bullets are made of I don't know what are they made of okay next step next step is take a sip of tea mm. okay now we will we will not have only one enemy as you might uh, as you might suppose so we will be instantiating them uh, around the i think where we'll be instantiating them you know what let's create several empty game objects and call them spawn point and maybe one two three four let it be four yeah four four will be okay Spawn point one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, and we will need some spawner. Spawner. And we need a script for that spawner. Spawner. Yeah, spawner. Put it to the spawner. I said put. And open it up. Ah, wait a second. We need to reset it. And open up Spooner script. Here we're gonna have a an array. Right. Or maybe a list. Yes, a list. List of game objects. Get all its own points. There we go. We like so and put that spoon points for them into that list I think I'm doing it right. Also, we need uh, an enemy which will be spawned. Mm. Private game object enemy. Save the script and there is here is our enemy and we need a prefab of the enemy 
to spawn it. So we put enemy into prefab folder and delete our enemy from the hierarchy. And now we put enemy into this slot of spawner script. Serialize field allows me to initialize uh, variables in inspector. Okay. And also I need a but random index, let's name it index, which will be integer and and then I need a method that will be spawning my enemies every every one second or every two seconds. So in start method we do the following invoke repeating it takes method name float time and float repeat rate so invoke repeating our method will be called spawn enemy yes it will start right away when this game object is created and every two seconds that this spawn enemy method will be invoked so let's create this spawn enemy method private with spawn enemy uh, and what do we do in this method first of all we get random index so random index equals to random random range range so we have four spawn points so we need four random numbers it will be from one to if it's float then max included and if it's int as i remember max value is excluded so zero one two three four 4 is excluded so we put 4 here so each time when spawn enemy method is invoked then we calculate one random index which is which will be 0 1 2 4 3 when this index is calculated we need to spawn an enemy at that spawn point. And by the way, I didn't place that spawn point in our scene. So first spawn points will be about here. Second one will be here. Third will be here. And fourth will be here. So our enemies will be spawned here, 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 randomly. To see this 
points better we can add a icon on them there we go okay next next so random index is calculated yeah thank you very much game dacos okay random index is calculated next step is to spawn an enemy at one of these points so what do we do we do spawn points random index mm. No, that's not what we do. We instantiate enemy at spawn points random index position. Transform position. Transform position with a default rotation. It will be quaternion. Quaternion. Quater quaternion identity. Identity. There we go. That should do the job. And I think. I think this is it. Do from zero list count. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, you're right, maybe. Okay. Let's check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Spawner enemy is here, spawn points. Out there player will be here Ooh. yeah kind of working beautiful okay enemies are instantiated every two seconds now I think it's time to Kill them. Да, запись стрима будет, я ничего не буду удалять. И более того, там будут э, в описании к стриму, либо в каком-нибудь прикрепленном сообщении я весь этот проект оставлю там, как бы можете забирать, делать с ним, что хотите. Вот такая тема. Вот. Поэтому, да, все останется для потомков. Okay, so what did I say now uh, was uh, that this stream will remain on this channel and whole of this project will be shared by link in the description or in some pinned comment which I will create which I will create, so you will be able to download this project and do whatever you want with it. It's, how is it said, mm. public domain, yeah. Uh, what? Hanyan, stop spamming, please. Okay, next kill enemies to kill an enemy all we need to do is 
to go to I think bullet script and use on trigger enter to the method on trigger yes and this trigger uh, this method is invoked when bullet hits something in our case it will be an enemy so when an enemy is hit or is hit it how is it correct okay when bullet hits enemy enemy and bullet should be destroyed so when it happens what do we do is first of all we need to destroy an enemy so collision object collision a object and after that when enemy is destroyed we can destroy a bullet so destroy a object that should work let's see Pew. <laughs> it works. Pew. 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 But. But. It's quite unfair if enemy can't kill our character when when enemy hits when enemy touches our character so we go to mm -hmm. we go to enemy script and and well, the problem I see here is that if enemy touches a bullet, then it will be destroyed. But if enemy... Uh, anyway, we need uh, on trigger enter to the method here as well. On trigger enter to the method. So... Anyway, okay. Destroy collision collision game object. So now I suppose I use stress. I'm a bit tired. Because this stream lasts for two and a half hours, and this is my first stream, so it's a bit quite too long for me. But we already finished, so so that's okay. I just need more practice, you know. Yes, I can check the tags, but I don't like tags, actually. But there is nothing bad in them. You can use them. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got. This is a good stream. Thank you very much. I really hope it is. And I really hope... I really want to continue this job. No, it's not a job. This activity. And and uh, and I will. Okay, let's see. If enemy touches our 
character up. But why are they still going? And where are they going? Actually, ah, yeah. They can't find... When a uh, character is destroyed, as we know here, mm, when enemy is created, is instantiated, uh, enemy tries to find a player, and if there is, if there isn't a player, then we get this error. Let's see once again. So we have several enemies, and one of them touches our player, and what the hell? I know what. Yes, there is an issue here. If enemy touches each other, they are destroyed. This is not what we want to be. And you know how to fix that. I know how to fix that. We can do the following. We pick up an enemy and put it into new layer, which I name enemy. Yes, enemy. So now our enemies will be a will be placed into enemy layer and now the trick is we can uh, turn off collision detection between uh, game objects within this layer so how do we do that we go to as I remember, preferences, or I don't remember, I don't remember, so Google knows everything, I'm sure, so what do we do? We search for collision matrix, collision matrix, unity, where is it? Maybe you know where collision matrix is because I don't remember. Where is it? Huh? Okay, okay. Project settings, I guess. Where is it? I don't remember where uh, physics to be, maybe. Yes, there it is. So, here is collision matrix, so I can disable collision detection between enemy and enemy layer. Right here. Unclick this enemy enemy, and now enemies will not be colliding with each other. Let's see. I have to make them collide. First place. Uh, see, they touch each other, but they don't destroy each other. But they kind of want to destroy me. Okay. Now. Just make a tag for player. No, it's not necessary. Okay. This works pretty fine with collision matrix and disabling collision detection between those layers. Between those game objects in this layer okay okay next when player dies I think it's time to uh, restart the game To do that, we need a 
we need what? We need a game over sign, I guess. So UI text game over. Game over. Terrific, my favorite font for today. Where is this sign? Huh? There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Game over for you. And I think we should give this sign more dramatic color. Red, of course. Okay. And this sign should be disabled when game starts. And when player dies, this game over sign appears. And the game should stops at this moment. To do that, we can create another one game object, which will be called some kind of game over control. Game over. Over control and we of course create another one script which is called game over control and open it up in visual studio this uh game over control script will use that game over sign Built private object. You know what? I don't have to disable it right here because I can disable it through the script. Okay, private game object. Huh? Game over sign. Game over sign. And at the start, we set this game over sign to inactive state. So game over sign enabled. Hey, ah, set active. Set active false. Let's check it out. Game over control. Give him this script. Yes, I said give him. And put game over sign right about here. Now it's enabled. And when we hit play, it will be disabled, as I suppose. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, now how this game over control game object will get to know that the game is over. There is one way how to do it. And it's we should use events for this. Yeah, event sounds really good. So in the character script pretty big already. We do the next. Yes, we do, 
we declare an event public static event action what ah we need to use uh, unity system as a as I remember not unity just system action action and we call it You know how we call it death screen there we go death screen so when our character will be killed it will say to the world that that he's dead and the game should be over so this event will take place when player is destroyed so I guess if we create a destroy method on destroy on destroy death screen yes death screen so when our character is destroyed we we do this death scream and uh, game over control should hear the death scream how very simple we create a new method And call it like came over and this method will be invoked when uh, player is dead so inside this method we will we will make this game over sign active so Game over sign set active true. But how this game over control uh, game object will get to know that uh, how will it hear that death? Death what? Death what? Already forgot how I call it death scream here yeah. how we should subscribe this game over control script to that death scream event how very simple uh, game game over plus equal game over method plus equal um, death what death scream ah how how did I do I already remember oh, my my head doesn't work anymore but I gotta finish that
I know one uh, channel where I can find the answer. Because I really don't remember how to do that. Why? Why? How to subscribe to event? Sasha. Come on. No, no, I'm pretty tired. That's obvious. Okay, I'll finish that. I'll finish that. Where I used that, I think it's here. How did I forget that? How did I forget that? How did I forget that? Any time, bro. Maybe here. No, not here. <laughs> ah, here, yeah. Oh no. Oh yes. No, not here. No, not here. I think it's here. No, not here. Where is it? Here? No. Maybe here? Mm, where Hi, in the can field. I find it? Find this variable in the inspector. Social tag to be. Okay, it's useless. No way. What? Oh, static. What static? Static. Event is static. Where did I do that? Where? Where are? Did I do that? Maybe here. And when it happens, yes. Finally. Okay. Delegate. Button 
wrist. Yes, that's right. And the other script. Push the button. Motherfucker. Oh, thanks. Me. Character. Death screen. Game over. What the f ah, That's it. And now, once we subscribed, we have to unsubscribe to avoid some some issues when scene will might maybe reload it okay so in on destroy method we unsubscribe from this event there we go okay where were we What did I do? Okay, so when character is destroyed, then um, game over sign should appear. Let's check it out. Game over control is here, game over sign is here. Let's see. yes it works but we have a bunch of errors here because enemies which are spawned still trying to find our character so what do we do let's try to I know what to do since we have this death scream that not only um, game over control game object should hear it enemy also can hear it so and spawner can hear it so when a player is destroyed then, for example, spawner should stop spawn new enemies. So, how to do that? I think I can create a new variable in spawner script. Ah, wait a second. We can stop invoking this spawn enemy. How to do that? Is there any stop invoking unity? Cancel invoke, yes, sure. So, when character is destroyed, we should stop invoking, we should stop invoking this spawn enemy method. We should stop invoking this spawn enemy method. So, um, right, void. Stop spawning. 
think here we cancel, cancel invoke, spawn enemy, spawn enemy. And when we always love your tutorials, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Cancel invoke spawn enemy. When do we stop spawning? When we hear that scream. So in start method, we subscribe to that um, event. Once again, character death scream plus equal stop spawning stop spawning like that and since we subscribe we should unsubscribe on in on destroy so like that let's check it out Yep, none of them is instantiated again, but these two guys still wondering. And here is how we can prevent them from this activity. Enemy, enemy can hear that death scream also so we subscribe character character death scream to say die die yes die And we now create this void die. So when enemy hears that scream, it destroys itself. So destroy game object. And we should unsubscribe also on destroy unsubscribe unsubscribe okay let's see you could make a collision out of the screen that destroys all the enemy yes i could but the problem not in Problem is not here. The problem is that when player is destroyed, those two or more enemies still uh, still trying to find our character, and we got bunches a bunch of errors here. So I want to get rid of those errors by this way. So let's see if it works. Okay, enemy. Wondering, wondering, wondering. Yeah, there we go. No errors, game over. Nice. And. Ah, by the way, can I kill them still? Pew, pew. Yes, I can. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, everything works fine. Okay, game over. Game is over, but we have to reload. The game and go back to say our start screen how to do that really simple we go to game over control script and use 
using. Uh, scene management C uh, Unity engine. Scene management scene management and for example uh, when game is over and game over sign set to true we uh, scene manager load scene and what parameters we can pass here build index scene name scene load mode parameters mode parameters yes restart button is great but i really pretty tired already this stream lasts for three hours already so i just want to finish that this particular project and and just get a little rest so we just when game is over let's go back to the go back to what scene to the start screen but in the next projects i think we will we'll implement and restart button and score counters and whatever we will want to implement so in this case we just go back to start screen so but i don't want to go to start screen right away when game is over i want to give a little pause or say one second so we don't need that we create one more method private void and name it say go to start screen and and here uh -huh, с твоей помощью игру сделал Поздравляю. Спасибо за просмотр. Так. Can you explain what a serialized field is? Serialized field helps me to initialize this game over sign variable in the inspector right here. Okay, what did I... What I've been doing? I've been doing... Uh, go to start screen and here in this method we cut that out insert it right here and here we um, load how this scene named again start screen oops start screen there we go and this method will be invoked in in two seconds say invoke start no, invoke go to start screen go to start screen in two seconds let's check it out I can move, I can shoot them, and they can kill me. Game over, two seconds, start screen. Perfect. Let's check it out from the beginning and play this nicest triple A game we created just in three hours and 20 minutes start oh no enemies everywhere i i shoot you all and f and and you and you and you and suddenly maybe i am out of ammo and they will kill me and they will, I'm sure. How long can I survive 
them. <laughs> ah, but, uh, okay. Everything works just fine, I guess so. We did it. Our first game we created during my first live stream. So, guys, I really appreciate your passion. And I really thank you, really, really do, that you came here and stay here with me. And I really hope you will do that in the future when I will host the next one. Okay, now, as I said, I will share this project with you guys. And what I do for that is I need to I need to find this project make an archive of it put it I think I'll put it on Google Drive and give you a link to that and this will be in the description of this um, stream but the fact is uh, since this stream lasts for about three and more hours when i finish it it will not appear right away when i finish it uh, it will not appear on my channel right away when i finish it so youtube has to youtube has to have some time to process it and then it and it will appear in my channel, I think, on my channel in hour, maybe two. So don't worry, it will appear. And you will be able to download this project if you want to, of course. If you need it, if you want it. I don't know if you do, but but I'll I give you that opportunity. So so what I do now is looking for this where is it this is called make a game unity 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 community where is it e unity make a game e unity where is it unity make a game and as i said let me show you one thing yes see to share any simple project you don't have to here is my uh, project this one you don't have to copy and archive all of these folders and all of these files all you need to do for once again for these kind of simple projects all you have to do is to archive two folders assets and project settings this is all you need to do you copy these two folders into some another folder i call it make a game and you copy these two folders into that folder copy there we go and then i can archive that folder to make it even smaller so let me show you this folder is about three six four one 
0.60 bytes. Bytes, yes. But those folder, if you, if you, uh, uh, how is it word? Oh, I already can remember even a word. If you want to back up, if you want to back up your project, so if you back up the whole project, this size may shock you if you compare this value with this value. See? 364 kilobytes against 146 megabytes. Feel the difference? So, copy just these two folders and you will be fine. And to open that project on the other machine or, or later, you just use uh, Unity Hub and click Add and where is it? Where is it? And just select this folder and click Select. That's it. So, so here is the archive of this project and I put it into Google Drive and share it with you guys. You will be able to get it again if you want to. If you don't want to, then you may not get it. Okay. Once again, thanks you for coming. Thanks you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Thank for your likes thank for your thank you okay guys see you later be cool be happy goodbye see you later